Hello Blitz fans of all ages, it's me Plumcastle, and in today's video I'm going to be discussing something that I haven't really seen anybody else ever bring up in a YouTube video, and it has to do with Blitz's esports. Now, if you've played the game for any length of time, you're probably aware of the esports side of Blitz, i.e. the professional tournaments, but just in case you haven't, let me explain what it is. Basically, the professional tournaments are a time for the best of the best to compete against each other, either for a cash prize or gold, and maybe some special camouflages and some other in-game resources. Pretty straightforward stuff and the kind of thing that we would think of when we earn stuff in a tournament, except obviously for the best players in the game. Now, of course, there are also some rules that need to be followed. For example, all of your teammates have to be your clan mates as well, Kind of makes sense, after all, your clan mates are probably your best teammates anyway, so they have made it a rule that your team has to be comprised of people from all of the same clan, which kind of makes sense. Now, there is a second rule that has to do with the control type or the input type. Basically, you probably already know this, but Blitz is available on just about any device you can think of. Phones, uh, tablets, computers, laptops, all various shapes, sizes, and brands. And of course, you can even play on the Nintendo Switch. And you can play with Xbox controllers on mobile devices. There's really just a wide variety of choices for how you want to play the game, which is, of course, really cool. However, with this particular rule in esports or the professional tournaments, it requires that you have a touch input, which means either you have to be using your touchpad or your screen on either a mobile device like a phone or, say, a tablet, and that is it. Xbox controllers or PlayStation controllers don't count. You can't use the Switch, and of course, the most important one, you can't use a mouse or keyboard because that is the second main input for the game, which means you're not only limiting how many people can get in, but it's kind of a disadvantage to everyone else who is on a different control type. Like, for me personally, I just don't like iPads. I will use them if I have to, but it is definitely not my preferred input. Now, before I go any further, I am sure there is someone rightfully thinking that the game, since it started out as a mobile game, it should be mobile-centered for these tournaments, and i.e. should only be played on mobile. Now, this is kind of right. However, I do feel that some other inputs should be allowed to maybe a certain extent. Now, a lot of people kind of debate about this. They'll say that PC is overpowered or uh, controller is really bad, and those two things can sort of be true. I do know, for me personally, it is much easier to aim on a computer. However, there is also an argument for the other side, for example, let's say saying that touchpad is better because you have better aim assist. Really, it goes both ways, so it is kind of hard to integrate these into one tournament, so I see why Wargaming has just stuck with the easy solution of just making it so that only one type can go in, and of course, being the one that they've always been with. So, really, it's kind of hard to integrate them, but what I would personally do is maybe hold some professional tournaments for one input type, and then, of course, professional tournaments for another. Now, for me personally, I would probably never go into the pro scene anyway, especially being on a keyboard, like I said, means I could never even really get in without completely switching which input type I was using. Now, of course, some of you might be thinking, aren't there uh, mobile emulators for computers? Yes, there are. However, if you actually go and check Wargaming's EULA agreement, it actually violates the agreement saying that you cannot emulate the game in any way, which, of course, that's just for general playing, and of course, that's going to apply for tournaments as well. So, technically speaking, if you were to use an emulator, you would actually be breaking rules, and therefore, you would be disqualified if Wargaming ever found out. So, really, there is it's just not a good idea to try and do it, therefore I have not. So really it's just kind of a pickle because you are on a, so let's say you're on a keyboard, and let's say you don't even have a phone or don't have a mobile device, you can't even get into these tournaments. So I kind of see it from both sides. I see for me personally, it would be kind of cool to have some different inputs as an option, but I also see why Wargaming has stuck with this single input system to just avoid any discrepancies or just any problems that might arise from having different inputs. But I would love to hear from you guys. What do you think would be the best option? Should PC and maybe even Xbox controllers ever be allowed into professional tournaments or should they just be completely left out? 
I'm really kind of open to hear what you guys think about it. Honestly, I, again, would like to see these different input types, no matter what kind of input type it is, to be allowed in these tournaments to some extent. But of course, if Wargaming was ever to do this, there would definitely need to be some uh, different changes made to try to make this as balanced as possible and fair to everyone involved. But anyway, those are my thoughts on different inputs for the pro tournaments. And with that, I hope you all enjoyed, and as always, have fun, good luck, and happy tanking.